Tom and Jerry the movie, not to be confused with Tom and Jerry the movie, is a movie. Now this is a franchise with some hilarious highs and some horrible lows. Look, I grew up watching the daily hour-long classic Tom and Jerry block on Boomerang, and even as an adult I appreciate the animation skill needed to make these gags land. But the thing is, there's a lot of Tom and Jerry. These two have been on the screen off and on for 80 years. They've done everything they can imagine a pair of animated characters doing. I know everyone gives out to Warner Brothers for these things, but honestly what else are they supposed to do with Tom and Jerry? Retire the characters and invest into original projects? Pfft, as if. Point is, I was apprehensive going into this new movie, and it basically met my expectations. Now one aspect I will praise is the animation. Getting these designs into a three-dimensional model and not having it look horrifying is a challenge, but they made the transition pretty damn well, especially thanks to the coloring and lighting they used. There are a couple places where the animated animals stick out, but for about 95% of the screen time they fit in just fine. It helps that they made the creative decision to make every animal in this world a cartoon, so it helps these two blend in more. Related to this, the best humor is with the visual gags. Tom and Jerry don't talk, thank god am I right, and their pantomime and physical gags are enjoyable. Also, some of the set pieces are fun. There's this one scene, for example, that features a Rube Goldberg contraption, and I like the directing in this part. It's more dynamic than just moving the camera alongside the machine. That said, the comedy in this movie is really a mixed bag, to be generous. The visual humor, like I said, is good, and the script has some decent verbal jokes too. But there's also some real stinkers. The sensitivity of this matter. Yes. If a picture of this mouse is tweeted up to Instabook face or the Tiki Talk, we will be ruined. Michael Pena's delivery is just flat out not funny. Chloe Grace Moretz has a certain charm as a young, spunky woman trying to win out using her wits but she's also really rough here. The movie also tries to go for an actual dramatic story, both about struggling to prove yourself as a young, inexperienced professional, and about listening to the people you love. Not enough time is dedicated to either of these to really make them click. Especially when a major emotional catharsis is punctuated with... <laughs> and will you marry me again, but better this time? Yeah, no. I do like certain aspects of this movie, but I don't think I like those things enough to see them carrying a whole film. I don't know if the concept of Cat Chases Mouse is robust enough to fill a feature-length story. And the more of these things we get, the more I'm convinced the answer is no. Nothing offended me, nothing really grabbed me. If you saw this trailer and thought, oh that looks amazing, then you'll probably enjoy it. Otherwise, I'd say it's just inoffensive with a few flashes of fun here and there. And with that, I'll see you in a couple years for the next Tom and Jerry reboot.